just like, are we really about to go get a vaccine right now? That's how excited I am. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. Megan and I are getting ready to head out for our first class of the day. So we're going to go catch a bus. We have class from eight until, I actually have class until like noon today. And Megan, what do you go till? Um, my exam is at like one, so. Like 1.30. So for our second class of the day, it's actually being replaced by a performance exam. So we get done a little bit earlier, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, we are going to head out. So we just finished our first class and me and Sierra split up because her practice is going to be, or her exam is going to be before mine. So I need to find like three hours to kill and then it'll be my exam. So I just finished getting some feedback to one of my classmates on a clinical note. So that didn't take too long. And then right now I'm going to study some neuro, hopefully for an hour before I focus on what my exam is over today. Because essentially tomorrow, like we did just have like a full on neuro lecture exam last week, but this week, tomorrow, we have like a PT specific, more clinical related one. It's only like 5% of our grade, but I didn't really study for it this weekend. So I need to focus on that or reviewing what we did or what was on the last exam. But it's a lonely call. Yeah, it's a lonely call. All right, so I finished on my performance exam. Passed, everything went well, so I was stressed for probably like no reason, but that's how it is. Uh, I'm gonna head home now, get some lunch, and then start doing some other stuff that I have to do. I have not missed the spot, but I did like an hour of neuro studying, and then since then I've been working on my informed consent mostly for the performance exam, just because there's certain stuff that we're supposed to include. And so I'm feeling pretty good, like I've got like my rhythm down and what I need to say. Um, so I have like 45 minutes until my time starts and then I gotta go home. Alright, so I made it back to my apartment, ate some lunch, and now I'm trying to make a graph that I have to make for one of my classes. And I have to say, fewer things make me feel dumber in this world than trying to use Excel, especially to make graphs, because in my head, like I know, this is like the data that we're supposed to use, in my head I know what to do and like what it's supposed to look like but then trying to execute on here is not working this is what we've got so far i'm currently googling how i add another line to a line chart i have my data put in but like i cannot this is not even like right so i don't know i just finished my performance exam i passed um everything went pretty good actually uh the one thing was like it was supposed to be about focused stretching was like part of it and i definitely like could and should know more about that than I do. So that was the one thing that was like my takeaway from that. Um, but I'm just gonna catch a bus and go back home. And then me and Sierra will get to the wreck to work out. All right, so we are headed to the wreck. We are actually walking today because it's super nice out and it's not too far from our apartment. So getting our workout in also before we get to the wreck. Yeah. So me and Sierra just got back from the rec. We had a pretty good workout, although I will yeah. say it's been a couple days since we worked out like more than normal. And also like I feel like when it starts getting warmer, the rec starts getting hotter, and then I start yeah. feeling like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to do and the AC on still. I don't know if they've done that yet. I don't know if they ever do, honestly. Really, it gets hot in the summer, <laughs> and like it just stays hot. Anyway, and the masks don't help. So it's <laughs> yeah. just like wow. Um. Anyway, before we get started with everything else on our to-do list, we want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of online classes for you to explore your creativity. They also have a ton of different class topics, so some of the ones that we think you guys might want to check out include productivity, lifestyle, and graphic design. The class that Megan and I took is called iPhone Photography, How to Shoot and Edit Conceptual Photos on Your Phone by Amelia Satsker. And I thought this was a really interesting class because it did like conceptual photos that I don't typically yeah. do in my Not Instagram. Not that we do, but like first of all, super interesting to see mm -hmm. how she did that because it's just like these super out of the con like out of the box <laughs> concept photos. Yeah. 
Um, but also she did everything from her iPhone, which I think to me was just like, wow, you can literally do so much with just an iPhone if you have concept that you create first. Yeah. And like she did a lot of editing from just her iPhone. It was pretty impressive. I think my biggest takeaway from this class was the whole idea of creating a mood board for photos that you want to create. While my ideas probably aren't going to be close to like the conceptual, like she had flowers coming out of like yeah. someone's head. Uh, that's probably not what I'm going to do, but I think sometimes I get like on Pinterest and I scroll and I'm like, I want to recreate like this picture exactly. And one, where's the fun in that? Two, you should just like find a bunch of pictures to draw inspiration from and then like make it your own. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. Plus it comes down to less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get into probably some more studying. <laughs> back from the grocery store all we did was kind of just like a quick run through got um like we didn't plan ahead at all which is what we've been trying to do but we got like a decent um stock up so tonight we are trying a red baron pizza never tried it before i don't think but it looks good on the picture and sierra posted on according to today like a picture of like our blaze pizza from over the summer and she was just like oh that's pretty good so we should get this and so that's pretty good yeah um we'll try it and then review so far, pizza looks good. It smells good. Okay, I'm taking a quick dinner break. I've actually been getting through the PowerPoint points pretty fast. I only have three more that I need to go through. And then honestly, like, I just don't think I'm going to spend that much more time studying tonight because everything is just like, yeah, I got it. So I'm going to be watching it Kendall Ray's video that you just uploaded while I'm eating and then tackle those PowerPoints. All right, I'm eating in my room and I'm going to watch Kendall Ray because she just uploaded a video, but... I'm going to try out the pizza first and give my review. Okay. Tastes very good. High key recommend if you guys haven't tried Red Baron. I think that's like honestly pretty popular. We used to eat at Jack's all the time at my dad's house. And then I just kind of stopped liking it. But this is good. We got the Supreme Pizza. So it's 8.30 now. I just finished studying. Um, watch Kendall Ray's video. It's very good. And so I'm probably going to just go on my laptop or TikTok. I didn't show you my TikTok. I was like, I've been thinking we haven't showed each other our TikToks yet today. Me and Sierra like just do, do like catch up to each other's TikToks that we've liked. So, pizza was very good. Like I would give it a nine out of 10, especially for frozen pizza. It was good, the crust was good, and I enjoyed it. That's kind of the situation. Are you done studying? Well, I haven't done that much. I just am like feeling just fine for the exam tomorrow. So that's all you can ask for, right? I'm not gonna wake up and start studying probably, so it's all good. Okay, we are going to talk to you guys in the morning. All right, so we are up, ready to go for our exam this morning. Um, today is a long day on campus because usually we don't have class until 10 today, but we have this exam this morning, so we're gonna be on campus from eight to five unless our lab gets done early, so. And that's like literally straight through only lunch break, mm -hmm. so wish us luck. It's 5.30, so we had an extremely long day of classes, and we're hungry, so we're just going to start making dinner right now because we still have to cook it for 45 minutes. And while we do that, we kind of have a story to share with you guys about us going through the process of getting our COVID vaccine appointments scheduled for tomorrow. So after watching this back, I don't feel like Megan and I explained this in a very succinct manner, so I'm just going to quickly voice over and tell you what happened. Basically, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that our program is having us on a list at the University of Iowa to get vaccines. However, since it's not our program directly that's vaccinating us and it's the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, we don't really have any information on when that would be. And a lot of the students in our program have had luck getting vaccinated through pharmacies. So Megan and I did some sleuthing around the internet, found an open appointment in Burlington, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from Iowa City, and we were able to get appointments set up there instead of through a program. So we just contacted our program after we got that set up to remove our name from their vaccine list. Oh, we're getting no data, by the way. Okay, right now I'm just going back. We have pre-recorded lectures after we have the live ones. And so I'm going back now. I'm actually like, we ended up getting um, a lot more further than this, a lot farther in this lecture than I, 
I thought we did before we got interrupted and we're trying to make appointments. So especially because I can go a little bit faster on this, this should not take that long at all. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. We've been eating in this morning, so it's 6.30 and I'm going to make some eggs and bacon. I think I'm also gonna have some chocolate. It's also vaccine day, so very excited for that. All right, we're just packing up and getting ready to head out. You guys, I am like, if we actually get vaccinated today, I'm going to just be like shocked. I shouldn't be. Because it's scheduled and ready to go. And every, and like they should it work. Me, they like, out, so like, yeah, you know. and so I'm just like, yeah, it should all work out, but just, I can't believe it. So, that's kind of just what we have going on again. That's not until later. We have um, four hours of classes this morning in person. Then we have a three hour gap where we actually booked a time to work out. And then we have our case based learning class on Zoom. And then as soon as we finish that is when we're going to start driving because we have an hour and 16 minute drive. Finished class. Sierra's staying after because she's doing um, pre lab for this week, and so I'm going home. And then I will pick her back up so we can go work out. All right, I'm back from class. I really have to eat like as fast as possible, but we don't have anything to eat, so I'm just like we have leftover mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna eat some of this. Um, we do have like actual food, but it's just not made yet. So like when we make dinner tonight, we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. But like I just don't have anything right now, and I think I have to leave like in the next five minutes to get Sierra and like have time to get gas and stuff. So mashed potatoes for lunch. have about 10 minutes until our zoom class this is our last one for this specific case and then we have like a quiz that opens up later that we have like a week to finish and yeah we basically were just trying to kill time for the last hour in between classes and then after this as you guys know we get to leave and i just am like it hasn't hit me that like wow we get our vaccines today but i keep telling myself for like every five seconds that Today's the day, so otherwise, like when we come back, um, I think it'd be great if I could get myself to do some studying, you know, but we don't have any like huge exams coming up, um, but like I haven't really been studying the past couple days, so could probably get back on to doing that. Yeah, I'm at it. All right, it's 4.15, so we're gonna get ready to leave as soon as Sierra's done, which should be shortly, but first I'm gonna make sure I'm not forgetting anything, so. I have my confirmation email, that's just on my phone. Need my ID to prove that I'm a healthcare student, at least I think I do, I'm bringing it. And then I need my license for my government ID and insurance card. So they never leave my wallet, but I'm just like, okay, yeah, they're in here, good. And I'm gonna just put this in here too so it doesn't fall out of my coat pocket. Everything is in here and good to go. Shouldn't be any issues. I'm just like, are we really about to go get a vaccine right now? That's how excited I am. Okay guys, here we go. Okay, we just got off on the exit. It is 5.37, but we're just about to the high V, so we really could not have wasted any more time. just finished check-in everything went smoothly our insurance card is expired but that was fine so it's 6 30 meg and i are back in the car getting ready to head back to iowa city feeling fine thus far and since this vlog carries into tomorrow we'll also keep you guys updated on how we're feeling then but yeah we're gonna get some culvers and then head back okay it's eight o'clock we just got back to our apartment smooth drive back um, you guys probably saw the videos, I don't know how to be included, but how they did it, um, they put these band-aids on and then they do the vaccine through the band-aid. Um, don't really have much blood anyways, I don't think, but, yeah. um, I was getting a little sore 
that always happens when I get a vaccine, so. Yeah, we Otherwise, do it too. Tylenol, so. Yeah, so. Um, don't really have much planned for us tonight. Um, I kind of, like, the Big Ten basketball tournament started today, and I don't know how much longer any of the games are going on, but in theory, because I kind of, like, started. Oh, really? Because I might try and, like, find some sort of, like, free trial thing and put that on. We don't have class until, like, we have Zoom tomorrow, no in-person classes for the rest of the week, and that starts at 10.30, so I'm kind of, like, I'll start, like, I'll get up at a decent time tomorrow and, like, start studying and stuff, I'm thinking. I'm so. I'm for the night. Yeah, but I wasn't really planning on necessarily studying too much today anyways. Like, I was like, oh, maybe, like, in theory that'd be good, but I just don't want to, so. I did practice. We also, well, me and Sierra did. I don't know if Haley or our dad did, but I was like, hey, let's make brackets for the Big Ten tournament and, like, see what happens. Did the Mesa? And they didn't send theirs, so we don't know if that is something you ended up doing or not. I just, uh, here's mine. You can't see it. Uh, but I just, because I couldn't find it on an app, I didn't try that hard, so if there was one, like, I just didn't really look that hard. But I just, like, went on Snapchat, saved the picture. The one. Sweet, that's who I had. That's who Sierra had, too. We had almost the same bracket. That's kind of the situation. Um, we finally got our COVID vaccine cards. So exciting. Woke up around 7.30, and again, we don't have our Zoom until 10.30, so I'm going to try and study some applied clinical medicine this morning. Um, that's not a class that I spend a lot of time on because it's not one of like our main classes, but um, we have an exam for it next week. So I kind of started making a couple quizlets over the weekend. So I'm gonna try doing those and like there's also something else that I could do for that class. Um, that's like an assignment. So I think I might do that as well, hopefully before Zoom starts. But quick update on how I'm feeling for the vaccine. I slept incredible like i slept really well like i woke up sometimes but like i always tend to wake up at least once or twice and my arm was definitely sore but that didn't like prevent me from falling asleep or anything um so slept great feeling great except for my arm's a little sore so i took some more tylenol this morning but feeling good I'm gonna do some quizlets in bed and i have some hot chocolate for breakfast. Hello everyone. I'm not sure what Megan has talked to you guys about this morning, but it is almost nine o'clock. I got up around seven and I slept great. I'm sure Megan gave you like updates on her symptoms that she's experiencing. All I'm feeling is like my arm is pretty sore. I'd say more sore than a normal vaccine, but like I don't have any body aches or any other symptoms like that. So, so far so good. I slept great, which is good. Um, I showered this morning, so that was productive of me. I think I'm going to try and get some studying done. I've been slacking the past few days. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. But I was able to get an assignment done this morning and then also take like a brief quiz. It wasn't really like a quiz, but it's something we had to do for CBL since we just finished our first unit, I guess. So I should study applied clinical medicine. We have that exam next Thursday. And then I need to stay on top of uh, therapeutic physical agents and musculoskeletal stuff because uh, musculoskeletal is coming up in a couple weeks and then TPA I think is probably shortly after that so that's like my focus for today and then we also need to pack because Megan and I are going on a um, COVID safe weekend getaway which we're super excited about we will be vlogging that so we're excited about that and then we're also getting our eyebrows done at 5 30. Okay I have to get on my zoom and like imminent but um i am starting to kind of organize i did go through the quiz that i was talking about earlier but i'm trying to organize now like an outline of just like what we have for our first unit for this class and so then i went to the syllabus and there's objectives and i figured that would be a good place to start for this class just because it's kind of all over the place otherwise so once this class is over i'm going to spend time um going through making an outline based off of the learning objectives getting ready for the first zoom of the day my outfit's very interesting right now because this is the class that we're supposed to dress kind of nice for when we have speakers and since this is on zoom i just put like a nice shirt on but i'm still wearing my uh like joggers and stuff i think this will only take an hour or so and then i will have lunch finish up zoom number one for the day so megan and i are going to make lunch we're making some tacos and then we have neuro at one which will be very long but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, this is like such a random thing, but Megan and I got this meat. I don't know what it's called. Like a meat crusher. That's probably not what it's actually called. But it's like for, like, you know, doing this to meat. <laughs> and we've like for the past couple years been just using like 
spatulas and stuff. And this is so much better. I know like it's stuck right now. But once you get going and the meat starts cooking, it really saves you time. So highly recommend. <laughs> Okay, it is 12.57, so just finished up with lunch, and now I have to get on to NeuroZoom. This is going to be interesting. Will we make it through the day? Okay, just finished up our first of two neuro lectures. Um, if you guys don't know, like our neuro thing is so long because we do two lectures on Thursdays back to back. We get a small break, usually around 15 minutes in between them. So, I actually did pretty good and like wasn't falling asleep necessarily, but I am tired. And so I do think I am gonna close my eyes and I'll get back on in 15 minutes. Our lecture is done. That second part of lecture really took a lot out of me. I was very tired and I'm probably gonna have to like rewatch some of that lecture at some point because mentally I was not there. Um, Megan and I have an eyebrow waxing appointment at 5.30, so we're going to be leaving shortly for that. Yeah, it's a lonely calling. Eyebrows are fully waxed, ready to go for our trip this weekend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's really bright. Okay, so we are back from getting our eyebrows done. I think mine turned out pretty good. Um, also, if we didn't already mention this, we're ending the vlog at today because tomorrow we don't have classes. Um, we're not doing clinical or anything, and we're actually going um, on like a weekend staycation kind of thing. And so we're going to be doing a separate vlog about our little weekend trips. You guys will see that too. Um, so I ordered something from White Fox. It's a sweatshirt, sweatshort set to surprise, just like my green one kind of. But I've been looking at these ones specifically. Here they are. Okay, sweatshirt first. We have this yellow sweatshirt. And then it just says Venice Beach. Um, I just think it's super cute and I love the yellow color. This is in a small medium, by the way. All right, and then these are the shorts. I got these in a size small and they're pretty plain. These are like super soft, both of these. And they say White Fox right there. So I will try these on. I'm just like, stuff like this, I really think I'm going to be wearing a lot of the summer, especially at the lake house, just when you like come in our lounging and you don't know what to throw on. Like this is what I'm going to wear. Okay, here's what it looks like. I think you guys can see so I really like the yellow honestly a lot so for dinner tonight we are making chicken asparagus pasta which we have not made in a while so um I just cut the asparagus up maybe everyone does this I don't know and I should I don't have think shown anyone does that I should have shown you guys that was kind of done on my part but you know how asparagus comes in bundles and there's rubber like elastics on them if you keep them on it keeps all the asparagus together and then you just chop it and you can do like three or four cuts and you're done so if you haven't tried that. Okay, well, it took you like a minute or two. Yeah. Um, so you're cut up the chicken. Also, this is, what is this called? Chicken stock? Get this if you're cooking chicken. I mean, it probably needs to like fit a certain taste, but this is just chicken flavor enhancement and it tastes really good with the chicken. So um, once this heats up a little bit more, we'll put the chicken in, we'll put that in and mix it around and then we'll add the asparagus and then we'll cook the noodles. And then I also like to add sauce to mine, but sear doesn't. It tastes pretty good either way. I might add some. Ooh, little, it's like a homier vibe. Here is our dinner, it's pretty good. Currently on an ad right now, but we are watching the Big Ten Tournament still. Um, I think this is the first game where Megan and I have a different game, or different winners on our bracket, so. I'm rooting for Rutgers. And I guess I'm rooting for Indiana. I am starting to pack up for our trip tomorrow. I don't think we've told you where we're going, it's not like a secret or anything, but we are going to Dubuque, it's just a smaller town in Northeast Iowa, yep. I'm bad with directions. I don't even know, like, we know what we're doing, or at least have a good idea, so I'm, like, not sure if I want to pick out specific outfits or just, like, pack stuff and see what I can make happen. But yeah, I need to do this before tomorrow morning. It's only right that I show you what's going on in my room as well, so, although I gotta say, not much is going on. <laughs> um, trying on a couple things, Sierra's trying on a couple things, we're just kind of getting to the point where we're like, well, we're bringing two cases, we'll just throw in... A variety of things. Um, and see what happens. Alright, well, I am pretty much mostly packed. Megan and I kind of ended up making the probably not so wise decision of throwing in a bunch of random clothes, not really making any outfits, and just hoping for the best when we get there. So, Megan's finishing up packing, and we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I think we mentioned we are vlogging the trip that we're taking this weekend, so you guys will get to see that 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in life. We're not vlogging tomorrow because we have the day off and that's when our trip is starting. So, if you guys like this video, guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also go listen to our podcast called According To. I think Sierra's putting something on the screen so now you can scan it if you want to uh, check it out. Yeah. We'll see you guys whenever we post next. Bye! I'm